Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, it's Market Outlook time on this Team of the Year week in FIFA 21. I'm gonna talk about Team of the Year today, talk about the cards we might be seeing, talk about when the release will be, and just the questioning that we are gonna have this week. A lot of questions surrounding this week. When to sell, when to buy. The market's already down a lot. I wanna talk about that as well. Card prices are down, a lot of people have coins. Is EA gonna drop content this week? to sink coins what is there to do on the game this week we had such a quiet week last week it seems weird that with team of the year coming we're just kind of in like limbo mode and everybody is just waiting and ready for team of the year boys and i'm telling you we're almost there i think it is coming this friday and again i will show you why i do think that but the one thing i want to talk about first is some people are thinking team of the year is going to start today on monday and i kind of want to debunk that i want to debunk that because if we take a look at ea's page over here on the uh, EA website. If we take a look at the little, the fine print, I guess you could say, the terms and conditions over here on the right. You can't see it on the screen. Uh, now you can. But voting actually ends on January 18th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. And I discussed this in, in further and other videos, but that actually is like 8 a.m. UK on the 19th of January. So, Technically today on FIFA, I think it's literally impossible that we would see a team of the year actually out in packs. Like I don't think team of the year is starting today. Of course, in years past, it has always started on a Monday with either defenders or attackers in packs. And that's kind of the way that it has always been. But I think it's going to be different this year based off of the way this is set up. And again, EA said that the voting ends on January 18th. Uh, at, of course, 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. But they also said that the final team of the year will be announced later in January. That's when the special cards will come out. And again, if you did not see this in a, in a previous video that we tweeted out or we put out about when team of the year is actually going to be, this is from Weaver on Twitter. And he found a, in the EA website code, they did some searching. This is actually some pretty pretty insane stuff. It says here in, in the blueprint, see who made the ultimate 11 on January 22nd. So technically we're viewing this Friday as the time for when team of the year will actually begin. And this week, again, if you guys remember what came out last year during FIFA 20's team of the year, there were tons of loading screens, right? We started off, I think on either Monday or Tuesday of that week with a loading screen. It was honestly crazy. Um, they released a loading screen for like multiple days in a row. Um, because they were basically just trying to build the hype and build the panic. Now, of, co of course, what does this mean for us this week in the market? How is EA going to do it this time? Of course, right now it's a lot of questioning. We're really going to have to see what EA wants to do this week with this game and where they want to create panic and if they want to start creating and releasing content that people will be interacting with throughout team of the year. So if we take a look at some of the SBCs, this is a, the main thing I want to talk about in this video is what kind of content can we expect this week leading up until Friday, right? Especially for the market. A lot of stuff has dropped off a ton already in price, but I feel like this isn't market crash prices that we're seeing, right? We haven't had true panic yet. This is not panic that we saw this last weekend. We just saw sell-off, right? Now, of course, some of these cards are hitting like their lowest they've almost ever been, but still to me, it is just sell-off at this time. It is not pure panic yet, so I think we have some time yet before we can sink our teeth into some buys on some of these cards, right? Now, we have some Icon SBCs that were released last week. Those are out for Team of the Year. Those will be craftable, right? Bruno Fernandez, Player of the Month. He'll be out for a while. We got more of these upgrade packs. I think EA might drop this one more time throughout the week this week. They might drop it on like Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, these do expire on Tuesday. So maybe on Wednesday, they'll drop these to expire on Friday. And you'll be able to stack these packs again. Uh, this is kind of cool from EA, like GG's giving us packs like this that are basically just normal gold upgrade packs with easy requirements to stack and hopefully pack a team of the year from them. These upgrade SBCs go away on Wednesday, as does the 86 plus upgrade. So um, a lot of the stuff you can see as well expires in two days, right? Marky matchups, three days, that's normal. But a lot of the live content, right? That Jonathan Dos Santos, SBC, the Gonzalo Higuain, the Tavernier, all those guys expired this week before team of the year would start. I think what you might see this week, and since we have, we don't have a repeatable icon SBC that is out in this game right now, just normal um, icon SBCs like for Kaká, 
for Roberto Carlos and guys like that. I think what EA might start to do this week is they might start to release content ahead of time that will be SBCs we could craft during the actual team of the year time frame. Um, basically, uh, a base icon player pick is a possible SBC. Since we've already had the base or mid and the repeatable base icon upgrade multiple times, I think it's very possible this week that you see a mid icon SBC, possibly like last year during team of the year, there was a base icon SBC, I think. I think it was just the base icon that was re-released last year. Since we've already had that repeatable, I feel like what EA could do is the base or mid repeatable. And then they also might drop like the mid uh, repeatable, or they might just drop a one-time non-repeatable icon SBC. But I feel like what EA could do this week is they could start releasing content that would be out during team of the year, like releasing that icon SBC that would be out for 25 days, right? Or even if it's out for 20 days, that would be an icon SBC that comes out early that continues to be out through team of the year when people like to craft packs. Same thing with flashback SBCs or player moments cards, right? Last year we had um, like the... Bernardo Silva player moments. We had a flashback dive with Louise. I think a couple of those SBCs came out actually before team of the year was released because this is again, one last final shot for EA to try to take coins off of this game, to try to take coins off of the market. Because again, EA has everybody in a prime spot right now. Look at this Mbappe, 830,000 coins. And you guys don't really need me to show you the graph of this card dropping off. But he's dropped off a lot, right? We told you guys to be selling Saturday morning, Friday night. He was 900,000 coins. He is literally down, especially today on Sunday, big dips in price, down to 830K right now, almost his biggest um, two-day drop we've had in a long time. Varan was 170. He's now 140. Conte was 220. He's now 190, right? Neymar was 700K. He's now 650. So a lot of these cards have really, really dropped off. From, of course, gold cards being very supplied in this game. But again, this is to me just normal weekend league sell-off. Um, and I think that EA could possibly put out more content this week that would make some of these cards go down even further. Especially the gold cards, man. The gold cards, I, I still feel like there's panic coming because a lot of people that sold their weekend league teams this weekend, um, they're not more, they're not the casual user base, right? The casual user base that's following this game is, is still operating almost per normal. I guess we do have a little bit of a teaser here uh, on the news feed that's saying who makes team of the year? The voting closes January 18th, right? But after that, it's like, well, when's team of the year, right? So many casuals might not really be interested in that. Um, so I feel like there's still more panic to come and still more prices that will be dropping in the future this week. And I feel like depending on the content EA drops this week, whether it's icon SBCs, party bag SBCs, um, you know, flashback players or anything like that in FIFA, I feel like a lot of people, since they have coins in that upper left, right? We talked about people panic selling their teams when it's an, it's a prime opportunity this week. Um, for EA to drop content like that because people have coins, right? People have coins. SBC fodder isn't that expensive, right? It's dropped a little bit because we don't have any like big time repeatable SBCs that are out. I know some people that have bought SBC fodder tonight upon squad battle rewards because they think an icon SBC might be coming, right? right? Like, you know, some of these 87 rated players like Firmino, 30,000 coins with icon SBCs last week, this guy was 40K. He's been dropping off in the past few days since we haven't had a repeatable or just any sort of icon upgrade in the game. People have been crafting and going after. Uh, so we have seen fodder drop off a little bit. Um, and could it be a club stock time? Yes, it could be. Um, a lot of people though expect fodder to drop during team of the year with all the pack supply. But if you want to be maybe a, not risky with it, but buy ahead of time, you might be able to buy maybe even today if some of these prices are low enough for you. If you take a look at some of these graphs and then hope for an icon SBC this week as EA maybe suck coins off the market. Like Alba was 28,000 coins. Now he's down to 22, 21K. You might see some stuff like that. You might be able to trade with SBC fodder this week um, if EA does release content. But that's kind of like the biggest question mark about this week. Is it going to be a quiet week like last week? Or is EA going to drop that content to take coins off the market? Now, mentioning more panic, right? I mentioned the loading screens that EA will probably drop. I, I'm expecting to see loading screens. Multi if Team of the Year is actually starting on Friday, like that uh, game code would suggest, 
I would expect to see loading screens. And by the way, EA, can we get rid of the squad update? It's back. We need to get rid of it. All right. Um, I think there's actually an update to the game on Tuesday that we're getting that patch that was released on PC last week. Uh, we'll get it on console this Tuesday. So hopefully that gets rid of that. But I think we might start to see loading screens today on Monday is the very earliest possibility. But then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if team of the year is legit Friday, you will see loading screens this week because EA is going to promo the crap out of team of the year, right? Promo videos on Twitter, you know, um, more of those votes, probably people voting who's in team of the year. You know, those loading screens that we had last year where they showed like the locker room, they kind of showed us the car design. They showed us hints uh, of jerseys hanging in the lockers of what players were in team of the year. They showed us that, um, I think it was, was it player moments? We had a car design last year. No, it wasn't. Player moments came out during Black Friday. But um, we had, they showed us player moments SBCs and like flashback design in a loading screen as well. There was like three or four different loading screens leading up towards team of the year that they kept updating every day, giving us more hints, right? I expect that to happen again in this game. Now let's talk about prices for a second, right? Let's talk about prices and then we'll talk about what is, there is to do on the game this week. I want to look at some high-end icons because a lot of people are asking me, yo, when can I buy Cruyff? When can I buy Pelé? When can I buy, you name it, Icon, right? Whether it's out of packs, whether it's a prime, a mid, I still think we have another tier of panic yet to happen. Now, there's a lot of qualifiers that have been going on, which might, especially with the new requirements for those qualifiers, um, I think those go into place next weekend. Um, but you've seen guys like this mid Vieira who was panic sold off sharply right at the end of December because that is when we thought team of the year was going to be, right? We thought team of the year was going to be like that first week of January and everybody kind of said, yo, sell for that. And then since then, the market's actually risen up pretty high into this last weekend because people bought back stuff because they're just getting bored. Like that one, you know, we had the weekend league plus player picks that were extra put out this past weekend. So there was more demand for weekend league. So we saw a higher market rise there, but this Vera was 3 million coins, right? Basically on a 3 mil or 2.4 on the xbox he is 2.6 on the xbox and 3.2 on the playstation even though he was 3.4 and 2.7 he's down a bit but he's not really getting panic sold so i don't think you want to buy these icons yet i mean we looked at middle cruyff today on the live stream as well check down the, the twitch link in the, in the description if you want to check in the live streams daily streams there um where we're grinding packs and, and trading and talking about this stuff but this Cruyff is 3.8 mil, right? He was 3.5 this weekend, and he was down to 3.2 or below that at his absolute lowest. So he still has like 100K, in my opinion, to drop before he's towards his lowest point that he was this year. And who says he can't even go lower, right? So we haven't seen true panic yet. So I'm waiting on the panic this week, boys. That's what I'm waiting on, especially for other, even out of pack special cards. I know I keep switching between, you know, the game and, and, and uh, footbin here. But yeah, we, you know, we've seen a lot of selling, right? A lot of selling. Casemiro, 339. Bernardo Silva, 522. We have now reached the low point. We are in the dip. But we haven't seen panic yet. And I think there is another realm, whether it's a loading screen, whether it's content that EA puts out, I think there is going to be a time where all of this stuff goes lower, especially the high tier stuff, because when team of the year cards come out, people see the cards, they, need, they want to go sell their cards to go buy them and try those new team of the year cards out. So, of course, as we get more information this week, we'll be uncovering that and possibly looking at more panic that could come. I don't think it's the buy time just yet. Some people are going to say buy Monday to Wednesday. I think you still want to wait. Even on some cards like Road to the Finals that or Headliners that a lot of people are going to be saying, yo, you want to buy these soon? You want to buy these quick? Because once we get out of team of the year, these guys are getting upgraded. Hold off a bit, right? I still feel like there's some panic that could be coming in this later this week, depending on the content that he uh, released. So hold your horses just yet. I don't think we need to buy yet. I want to figure out more info on team of the year before we start putting our coins into stuff that could technically still go lower as we find out more information about team of the year. So with that being said, what is there to do on this game this week? What is there to do on FIFA this week? Uh, there was a new objective with the Bundesliga League player, St. Robin. Of course, with all the Dutch links that are going around with Robin, with Kleiber, people linking those guys together. He's on the left side. So, you know, I still feel like this is like one of the only things to do 
this week in FIFA is to maybe grind Bundesliga. You know, watch your Bundesliga rare cards because you need the managerial masterpiece mode, which is, I think it's like a 77 rated squad or something like that. So some of your really meta Bundesliga cards might go up uh, tonight from squad battle rewards. Um, and also the thing that people are going to be doing this week is pre preparing for team of the year in terms of going on a sign on rare gold cards. And you've already seen these cards. They've been inflated, honestly, uh, for the past couple of, honestly, weeks with headliners being in packs. Premier League rares are 950 coins instant selling on this market. If we check bids, I bet they're going for probably around 850 to 900 coins on bids as well. Maybe some in the 800 to 750 range. But this is kind of the time frame where people are thinking about, yo, team of the year is going to be on Friday or next Monday. And they're going to start preparing. And this is the way they're going to prepare by buying gold rares, stocking their club. Honestly, boys, these gold rare cards, if we don't get supply from EA this week, these gold rares literally might be a thousand coins to 1.1K by the time the end of this week hits. So if you have got gold rares already and you're chilling, you're feeling good. But just be careful if you're waiting to do this. Um, that a lot of people are buying up these rares and investing in these cards, right? And we'll talk about that later on in the week is that a lot of people buy those rare golds. Team of the year comes out, upgrade packs come out and people go and sell those rare golds. And, you know, they actually don't go up that much in the, in the weekend because so many people are just listing and selling and selling. Uh, and instead, the prices kind of stay the same instead of going up. If they don't require league specific, if they require league specific rares for the upgrade packs, then we get into a very interesting, interesting place. But to take a look at what I'm doing right now on this game, there's still ways you can trade in this game, right? All these cards you see here on this page, Diego Carlos, I bought this for 150 today. I bought these both for 260. I bought these guys for both at 72,000 coins a piece. Um, you can flip a lot of cards. Now, some of these are from the weekend. Some of them from last night. I bought both these at 100. I bought this at on stream a couple days ago, 269. Um, you know, you can still trade with the really rare cards in this game. I still think there's going to be some of these cards that bounce back up from the panic selling, not really panic, but from the weekend league sell off. Um, this Bamba inform was really, really low. I bought these at 70 K a piece. I bought some Kunde's at 70 K a piece as well. These Diego Carlos were at 134, and you saw me checking him at the start of the video. Um, I believe he's like 145, but what happens with these rare cards is, um, since there's, uh, the weekend league sell-off is happening. People are just trying to get their coins. They keep undercutting each other. But then the weekend league ends, right? The weekend league ends and um, nobody else is listing their cards up, right? So these cards just kind of naturally rebound from less undercutting. They kind of just bounce back a little bit. So Diego Carlos is up 10K from where I bought him. I bought those at 134, 135. And I still think by the morning time, he might be 150. So you know, you can still trade with this market, right? Look for open bids because a lot of people are going to be worried about doing league SBCs this week to get packs as well. Watch your uh, Bundesliga, Premier League, all the league SBCs that are out. People are going to be doing everything in their power this week, a week before team of the year to be grinding the league SBCs or whatever packs that they can grind, whether it's objectives like we saw as well or just these SBCs to get packs to store up, to stock up, maybe even doing foot draft to stock up packs for team of the year. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. A lot of question marks. I still think you can trade, right? Look for fluctuations. Open bids are going to be your best friend. Out of pack specials, the really rare ones, record breakers, rule breakers, all those types of cards. Cards that like this, right? See on my transfer list, I've got a lot of out of packs items. You know, go through cards like this and just watch them on the daily. Just watch them on the daily. Um, watch them with their open bids and their fluctuations and know which cards are going to be desired based off of who is in the game. And just, you know, I look at a lot of English cards, like we were watching uh, Joe Gomez, as center back in form tonight because of Tavernier, you know, we we're watching this Campbell. He's down a lot because of uh, his rise to Tavernier. Bruno Fernandez's second in form was selling at 700,000 coins like a couple days ago. And now the guy's down at 570 because of the player of the month and because of weekend like sell off. But these cards are kind of bouncing back, right? You saw this Bruno was at 556 on bid. One just sold right there for 580. This Usman Dembele was 1.13. Uh, he's still 1.13, but it, that, that's really cheap, right? This guy's 1.13. He could easily bounce back to 1.2 mil because of rarity, you know? So that's some stuff you could look out for this week. A lot of people, though, are going to just keep their coins liquid and not trade and just wait for team of the year, um, which I think, you know, there's less risk to that, too. There's, there's benefits of not having 
your coins involved. So we're just looking for the panic selling this week. I think it's going to happen. And hopefully all the stuff that we talked about in this video today does help because honestly, boys, the, the number one thing to describe this week is just a big question mark until we get more information from EA today, tomorrow, into the week. We're just sitting here thinking, okay, team of weeks at the end of the week, what's going to happen until then the market's down, but does it go lower? I think it does. So we're just going to have kind of have to take it step by step day by day throughout the week this week until we find out more about team of the year. So that's the video for today, boys. That's the market outlook. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe. If you're new, it's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.